During the last 10 years, the FAA has been conducting an in-depth analysis for the New York, New Jersey, Philadelphia Metropolitan Area Airspace Redesign Project. The purpose of this project is to improve the efficiency of the airspace and reduce delays while maintaining or increasing the safety of our system. Substantial resources have been dedicated to this redesign project, which involves a complex airspace system servicing over 70% of our nation's air traffic. The New York, New Jersey, Philadelphia Metropolitan Airspace Redesign Project is an important component to the strength of our national economy. Billions of dollars in our study area rely on the continued safety and efficiency of our air transportation system. This airspace redesign project was initiated in 1998 and funded by Congress in 1999. Over the past decade, the FAA has reached out to communities within the study area by conducting over 120 public meetings, including congressional staff briefings, to inform and educate people who may be affected by the changing air traffic patterns and to address any reasonable concerns. Our next stop will be Ellis Island. Data collected and displayed using Performance Data Analysis and Reporting System, or PDARS, shows the volume and complexity of air traffic that operates within the metropolitan New York, New Jersey, and Philadelphia areas within a normal 24-hour period. There is limited flexibility. Delays at airports within the study area create a domino effect on the entire country and account for billions of dollars in lost revenue. In response to an ever-growing need to change how we approach aviation and the use of our national airspace system, NextGen, which stands for Next Generation Air Transportation System, is going to transform the entire national airspace system. NextGen leverages new technologies such as satellite-based navigation, surveillance, and networking to offer a system that is safer, more reliable, and more flexible with greater efficiency to meet growing demand. NextGen is working closely with the Office of Management and Budget as well as additional government partners to coordinate research programs and continue long-term planning. The actual implementation of many NextGen concepts will be accomplished through a local decision-making process in a cooperative effort between airport operators, users, and neighboring communities with support from local, state, and federal governments. Implementation of NextGen is essential to both the economic viability of aviation and our national security. NextGen does not modernize our existing air transportation system, it completely transforms it. This transformation begins with the selected project, Airspace Redesign, as its foundation. A key decision of the New York, New Jersey, Philadelphia Airspace Redesign Project, released in the FAA-approved 2007 Record of Decision, or ROD, is the move toward integrated airspace. This project consolidates many sectors of airspace under one Integrated Control Complex, or ICC, and represents an innovative approach to airspace redesign in the study area. Let's just route 203017, I show you indicating 1200. The ICC expands the use of three nautical mile separation criteria for flights in the consolidated airspace, rather than the standard five mile criteria for en route today. The airspace will incorporate the sectors of airspace currently handled by the New York TRACON and the New York Center, as well as some handled by the Washington and Boston Centers. This selected project will require adjustments in the existing FAA facilities to provide a common automation platform and communication network. Mass and race dental. After years of research and a cost of over $61 million through fiscal year 2009, the New York, New Jersey, Philadelphia Metropolitan Area Airspace Redesign Project is two years into its implementation schedule. The implementation process commenced December 19, 2007 with Stage 1. As part of Stage 1, we began implementation of our initial changes with the use of new departure dispersal headings at Philadelphia and Newark Liberty International Airports on a limited basis. 
Formal Departure Procedures, or DPs, were published at both locations in July of 2008. The FAA completed an operational assessment on the effectiveness of the use of dispersal headings at Newark Liberty International Airport and Philadelphia International Airport and found the dispersal headings reduced taxi time and increased the number of departures at both locations. We are currently moving forward with stage two of implementation for this project. This stage was segregated into two parts. Stage 2A concentrates on the integration of the New York TRACON and New York Center airspace, which primarily focuses on improving the efficiencies of Westgate departures. Stage 2B concentrates on the expansion of the terminal airspace in the Philadelphia metropolitan area. Many of the changes in Stage 2A and B occur at high altitudes of 18,000 feet and will connect the existing jet route structure. This entails the integration of the terminal and en route airspace, a key element being Westgate expansion. Westgate expansion adds two departure points, increasing jet routes from six to eight. This will significantly increase air traffic efficiency within the study area. Right now, I'm standing under one of the Westgate routes with an airplane above me at 18,000 feet. This is what it looks and sounds like. The implementation of the Westgate expansion, coupled with the final stages of the New York, New Jersey, Philadelphia metropolitan area airspace redesign, will reduce airport delays by an estimated 20%. This increase in efficiency will yield benefits in the range of seven to nine billion dollars for passengers, local businesses, and air carriers by 2012. For more information on the New York, New Jersey, Philadelphia Airspace Redesign Project, please visit our website at www.faa.gov forward slash nynjphl underscore airspace underscore redesign. After surviving many legal challenges, airspace redesign continues to move forward, making great progress to ensure this region and our nation has a safe, efficient, and reliable air transportation system. Airspace redesign, looking to the future for the future of our nation.